is called Tuberous. Stone exhausted rites of infinite fear, bladed by no separate light, seemingly clutch hands with imperative love. Dimensions added to eyes through green, unfiltered emotion, chimes almost hypnotic backgrounds whirl, feet first at measure the speed. By known separations immeasurable degree, throughout cross sign continents, angular facets painfully flower, split cord of double breath. Words added toward forever, our emotional and veteran besides fragile illnesses nevering despair. Two sided garments, opaque clarity, primed by simple thought, knowledge of each whole part forgets no rose we were. Through varied, tone to be lost memory, cells perpendicular growth over death, arms delay toward wing, given hearts single solidarity, saliva wounded fruit to come. Reverse effects ripple forward, ascend with every downward look. Unmemorized song, instantly known by glimpses of organic swell, half open doored commitment of spirit's metacarpal grace. Joy so unfortunate to last beyond mouth's serrated gesture. Deadly collision with death renounced past strength of letting go. There. So it's that space, looking out into that space at least that comes back to me on, with this. It's called point. Horizon step included in matter unmooring lives as with fronds, reclining figure mouth to wound, fire cut on ocean's mark, predated bells seaward facing sickle, chisel from where horses emerge, coterminous with ever substantial foam. Sometimes called flight. Palpably uncorked in weightless drift, wide awake death that plays with light wing. Tearful way through southerly approach at bimanual speed, one piece direct to heart in sync with melodic stone, given form in sight and hearing, undercade either oars felt absence. So much excitement, so much hopeful dust. Louder than voice that knocks with painstaking pain of observance to broken will in life's unending quaternary change, striving toward rest. A moment's syllable wavering, crutchless walk alone by heavenly descent, held short in triple pass under wing, from every pause high debt that in giving owes more, on last runway's implacable approach at dark double minimum below throttling down with episodic fear to quenchless hunger's pointed finger, tremoring, not separate from song. This is the actual, the, the title poem in the collection is all of two lines long, um, but Hiraf itself, I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with the term, or um, it's, it refers to a, a state of, a, it's kind of homesickness for a place that has long since been left behind, or in a sense maybe never was there in the first place. It's that yearning for what's been lost, what can't be replaced. And I suppose there is a word in Portuguese called saudade, which you will certainly be aware of here, um, which captures it, you know, that, that holds the, the meaning and the, and the sense of it very well. But in English we don't really have a, a word that comes close. I'll try and name it down in two words, or two lines. Hira. Mind's compound beast, frowning into faith's bridgeable gap. This poem's called Glimpse. From carved idols' numbered cries, feet that indecisively move before eyes bloodshot to prayer, fast terror of nothing done, Fallen away from fear overcome, passing through no tangible skull out of triple denying darkness, turned hearts present concern.